this dashboard will look uh, fairly similar uh, for both those platforms. Uh, so this is the MT4 platform, and this is our, our newest EFC dashboard. This is the EFC dashboard 2.0, we're calling it. And basically what this does is it uses the EFC indicator, and then it gives you all um, all of the pairs, um, basically everything you have in your market watch. Uh, you can see here your market watch, all these symbols uh, that will be placed here on this dashboard. And um, this is a very this is a very nice feature uh, for this 2.0 dashboard uh, because literally all you got to do right here is if you see a buy, uh, if you see a buy on the EFC dashboard, all you got to do is click on it. And uh, you can actually see the chart. It's a little bit zoomed out, but you can actually kind of see what's going on. And um, you can see that it was, a, it was a buy. It was a good buy signal um, based on the EFC indicator. Uh, so that's a really nice feature because you don't have to be pulling up charts. You can just, everything's right here there for you. Um, and and you, as you can see here, this is the time frame. So what we got is we got the symbol, we got the time frame, and then we got the signal that's showing. Uh, so right here, these are all daily charts. You can see up here, daily. These are all daily signals. Uh, so that was a buy signal um, for New Zealand uh, yen. This will be, if you click on this chart, it'll show up right here. This is a sell signal uh, for the Aussie New Zealand and so on and so forth. Right here, we got the divergence um, based on the strategy so you can you can keep clicking these all you want we actually have other dashboards that, that look very similar uh, this is our ES this is our new EFC dashboard really nice uh, great feature it makes it a lot uh, easier to use our EFC indicator uh, by far our most popular indicator um, basically because it's 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 real nice it shows those uh, reversal signals um, if you don't, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're saying EFC, what are you talking about? Like, what is the EFC? Um, you can go to our website. It's uh, www.tradingstrategyguys.com. If you go and search RSI 8020, uh, you're going to find a strategy and that, that, that's the strategy behind the EFC. And it's actually, here's a, here's a little tidbit of it. Uh, here's the roles. You can see the roles, step one, two, three, four, five. There's five roles to it. It's pretty simple. Well, Depending on how you're, um, if you're an advanced or if you're beginning, if you're an advanced trader, you're going to pick on this. You're going to pick up on the strategy uh, really quick. If you're a beginner trader, you might need to read it a few times. Uh, here's that. Here's that whole entire uh, booklet. Um, we give it. We give it away for free. This is 100% uh, free. You go on our website. You can go find RSI 20 and uh, you'll find the rules. You'll be able to read it, and you'll be able to figure out the the methodology behind um, behind the strategy or behind this indicator, I'm sorry, it's behind the indicator and dashboard. Um, so let's look into, let's, let's dive into this a little bit more. Um, what, what also is a nice feature is uh, not only does it show those like I was showing here, but if you click on, let's say the, uh, the four hour chart, um, you're going to, you're going to see some alerts. So these are going to be all the alerts. Now, um, you know, some of them might be older alerts now, but basically you seeing all these sell, sell, sell. There's a lot of sell signals we see here uh, with the EFC dashboard, uh, with this new 2.0 dashboard. And you're going to be able to see that the uh, exactly what's going on. And, and basically you just leave this up. You leave this up on your chart and you just, you go do something else and you hear that alert ding. You come over here and you see EFC dashboard on the Euro pound uh, price broke the buy stop and it'll show you the level it'll show you the exact level and it moved how many points uh, ticks points pips whatever you want to call it uh, so this for instance it moves 869 points um, euro pound so we can even find we can even go up here and we can find the um, we could find the euro pound and this is the chart. Um, so you see that actually was a really nice trade um, on the four hour chart. This is where it would have signaled a buy. And look at that, you can see those green candles. Like I said, it's a little zoomed out. Uh, this isn't meant to be your only way. You know, you, you see a little thing here and you say, oh, okay, let's let's go ahead and buy it. Um, uh, but basically here, this, this would have been a, right here. This is where you would have bought. And you can see that big, nice move. Um, 
really good trade. Uh, really nice trade. Looks like it's up. Uh, probably the target's about here somewhere. Uh, and our stop loss would have been maybe here. Um, it's a it's a three to it's a three to one. So it's a three risk or a three reward uh, to one risk. Um, so that's that's the um, that's the risk reward behind this indicator. Uh, so that actually would have been a really nice trade. Um, very 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 nice. And um, so that's a four hour chart. And like I said, we can go all the way down to the minute the minute chart. Um, the EFC, it, it tends to work better on the hour, the so four hour and a daily, even a 30 is good. Uh, these down below, you need to make sure you're looking at, you're, you're making sure you're looking at the price action. Uh, you're looking at support and resistance because there could be a little bit, a little bit more false signals um, that low. Um, it still works. Um, it still works. It still works really well. Um, the dashboard and the RSI or the EFC indicator. Everything works with the indicator, but you just got to make sure you're looking at the price action. Um, higher time frames, you can tend to, you know, you see you see the signal and it's like, wow, that's a really great signal, and boom, it you know just so happens you see um, you'll see something like this. Uh, you see this was a signal. I already pulled some of these up, uh, New Zealand yen, and uh, as you can see here, I can pull up my drawing here. This was uh, it would have signaled right here. So this was the buy signal. You would have got an alert. You would have got an alert on your EFC, either the dashboard or your EFC. This is the this is the EFC indicator. And then it, it came it came down just a little bit, and then it broke up. Um, our right now we're sitting at we're sitting at uh, 78 uh, 78.4453. Let's see, we're going to be going up. This will be our target actually. So. Uh, 8136. So 8136. That's gonna be our target. And uh, here's here's actually our risk. So what I was saying about that risk to reward. Here's your here's what you're risking. So you're risking this much. Uh, this is what's great about the EFC indicator. You're risking this much, and your reward is this much. <laughs> So even if you're losing uh, a ton of trades here, and I, I'm not saying you're going to lose every, you know, every trade or every other, but even if you're losing, you know, if, maybe if you got a 40% win rate with it, you're still making money because of this, because this is your this is your reward, your rewards here, and your risk is right here, uh, and then that's what that's what uh, that's what makes this strategy really good, and. Um, and if you ever wanted to, if you ever wanted to adjust that as well, uh, the risk to reward, you can always do that by going right here. You can just change that to a two, change that to a one. Say so you're a one to one risk to reward guy. You're not a one to three. You don't think it'll ever hit that. Uh, go ahead and put that one to one to two or one to one. And look at that. This is the take profit level. You see, I was up here. See how it jumped down. That was one to two. And um, this is the EFC indicator I'm actually looking at now. I was actually supposed to be talking about the dashboard here, but this is the EFC. Um, and look at that. So one to one. So if you're a one to one risk to reward kind of guy, if you don't like, if you don't think that one to one to three is you, you can adjust those settings to a one to three. So basically, what's what's going to happen here now is once it hits this, the indicator is going to shut off and it's going to start looking for. Uh, more EFC trades, me more RSI eighty twenty trades, and um, I can go, I can pull up the RSI indicator, I can start explaining all that. But really, with the EFC indicator, you see a green arrow, up arrow, you're gonna want to buy. You see a red down arrow, you're gonna want to sell. Now, am I saying that you should trade every single signal? No, we all we we get asked a lot of questions um, about this indicator, saying, hey, I I just saw a signal and it just it just went to um, it just hit the stop loss like that. Like it signaled by and it it signaled right here. Hey man, it signaled right here and it hit the it came down here all the way down here. Oh man, your indicator doesn't work. It's a horrible indicator, you know, get out of here. Well, I mean, it's 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 what it is. It's an indicator and it's there to help you um, find a trade. It's it's not necessarily saying you need <laughs> you don't necessarily have to take the trade once you see it. Like that's 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 actually a really really bad way to trade. If you're just basically what our indicators are is we we get a we get a profitable strategy. We get a successful strategy 
and we get we, we develop an indicator that backs it and then it trades the strategy for you it's not an EA it's an indicator if we, if we wanted to trade it for you what we would do is just so all the signals are here all we'd have to do is make that into an EA robot and you know maybe we could do that down the road but we don't we don't really want to do that for you we want to make we want to make sure you're the one um, you're the one that's actually taking the trade not a robot no, not some algorithm um, out there but I'm gonna leave this at one to three because this is what makes the EFC indicator so successful is one to three risk reward ratio um, okay so getting back to our dashboard uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, that actually you can do with it. You can, there's a lot of settings that you can adjust, um, lots of outputs. Um, say you don't want to see all of these. If you only, if you only, say you only trade, um, let's say you only trade two of these instead of all, however many there are here. Uh, what you can do is actually specify. You can specify what symbol you want to see. So if you only want to see a couple of these, then by all means, go ahead and just go ahead and delete those. And um, go ahead and delete those, and then you should you should be good. We might have to we have, might have to modify something. Okay, yeah, yeah, we had to modify something there, and um, I had to get out there for a second. Um, what, what you need to make sure if you do want to do a specific, um, this is very important. You really you need to pay attention because this is actually really important. Let me get my drawing tool out here. Um, Market Watch. Come over to Market Watch. Click up here. Click this button. Click on Market Watch. Now you see this little thing here. It says I. Pre there we go. It says I there. You, you need to make sure that, say this Euro dollar. Uh, the euro dollar here you need to make sure that what this what's what you see here is what you see here so basically all you need to do is this euro euro dollar i and then a little comma and then eight whatever time frame h1 m30 uh m1 what do you trade say you trade these three all all hourly and that's what you got to put in there you need to put euro dollar um the uh, the broker prefix suffix whatever there uh, traders way is I so you go euro dollar I comma time frame and then a and then a uh, semicolon and then a semicolon and then your next pair pound dollar uh, whatever whatever over here if it's in the market watch you're good to go if it's in the market watch if it's one of these then you're good to go if it's something random then you're not it's not going to show up you're going to say hey man it says no setup it's not working your indicator stinks <laughs> Um, sorry, nobody says that. Um, <laughs> but um, no, for real though, it's basically it's very simple. You got to put the I euro dollar I the whatever prefix suffix whatever your broker uses. Um, tra Traders way is I, so you just put I there, and um, you can put as many or as little as you want. Uh, there actually might be I probably shouldn't say as many as you want. There's probably a limit uh, depending on how many market watch symbols you have over here. Um, but most people. Um, most people, they're just going to click over here, go to all symbols. Actually, what I'll do is just reset, and you go to all symbols, and then everything should show up there uh, for you. The alerts will show up, and uh, that's really all you got to do. It's really simple to add. It's a really easy indicator to use. Um, there's a lot of other uh, RSI overbought and oversold. This will, you only adjust these if, let me bring my strategy over here, you actually read the strategy okay so don't adjust those if you haven't read the strategy the strategy is 80 20. uh the rsi parameters are at 80 and 20. uh it's these lines here don't adjust those if you have no idea what that means uh leave it on 80 20 because that's the best settings for the strategy um uh, we've actually had a few traders tell us that they jump they um they moved it to a to a 70 and a 30 and that actually worked out really well um 80 and 20s it'll weed out a little bit more um false signals uh, so that's why we like it at 80 20. there won't be as many chances but you're going to what the chances you do see you're going to be really good uh, they're going to be really good um trades or they should be anyhow i like i said you still have to make that trade though and uh, there's a lot of other stuff all these all these little arrows these little 
dark, you know, you can change all these colors. Um, I leave it the same. I like it how our how we have it, um, the defaults, but you can adjust that if you wish. Um, and the alerts, you're going to be able to alert yourself on whatever you want. You can you can send that notification. Um, I have, we've had a, we've had a video about um, getting notifications on your uh, device on MetaTrader Forum Five, so you can go ahead and search for that if you if you need help on getting notifications, or just do a quick Google search uh, how to get notifications on MetaTrader. It's really simple. Depending on what uh, phone you have, if you have an iPhone or if you have an Android, uh, it it, I think it matters a little bit there, um, but it's really simple. So basically, these alerts, all these alerts can come will come to your phone uh, if you want. Um, it's all it's all customizable. This whole thing is customizable, and that's the way we have it. Um, leave this at closed price if you want to. Kind of, these are a little more advanced settings. Um, you can kind of tinker with them, tinker with them if you want. Uh, leave this at eight, and uh, this will just scan the bars. This is 50, uh, so you want to leave that at 50. Uh, everything else is pretty standard. Um, it's a, it's very. It's, we 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 try to make it as simple as possible based on the strategy. That's what we do. Um, we want to we want to uh, not complicate stuff as much as possible. And we think this will cover all the from the beginners to the advanced. We gave some of those settings for those advanced traders who want to kind of tweak the strategy. Uh, but if you're a beginner, if you're starting out, if you've been trading for less than a year, leave those settings alone. You can change these colors if you want, change the arrows or something, but just leave the settings alone and just focus on the sell, sell, buy. What I would do is just click on all these and take take a look at them, pound, dollar, and then you can always just say if you see something like that, um, then come over to a chart and take a look. So there's two right here, uh, pound, pound, dollar, and New Zealand yen. Uh, here's two right here. So this is, the like I said, that's a buy signal. Here's a sell. Um, they look a little bit different on the FC. Uh, you can actually make you can actually make this look completely different, but I really don't want to focus on the FC. That could be for a later time. I wanted to focus on this dashboard, um, but they're both the same. A, uh, a sell would look like a red candles, and a buy would look like green. Um, so it's a very straightforward indicator, and then we always give you that uh, take profit target at 1.29820. And then where to place your stop loss. The best place to place your stop loss. Uh, we can also get into that and maybe at a later time we'll focus on this why we put this stop loss here and why we put this take profit here. Um, it has to do with this level here. I'm just going to give you the hint. <laughs> um, this it, it gives you this, this basically if it breaks this level it's um, we don't we don't want that trade anyways. We, we don't want to get out of this trade so basically it, 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 it involves this level right here. Um, so we also have another dashboard, uh, the, the, I guess we would call it EFC Scanner 1.0. <laughs> and it looks like this, a uh, little bit little bit different than this. Um, we kind of wanted to give a variety. Uh, this will show you the buy signals, kind of what it means, RSI is below um, 20. Uh, so for instance, the Euro New Zealand on a minute 15 chart, the... Uh, the RSI is below 20 right now, and um, and then on the 30-minute chart, that is, there's actually a setup that's confirmed, and it looks a little bit different. It has a little feel, a little different feel to it. Um, really, there's, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say one's better than the other because they're both very good. But what, what, what we found out uh, through 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 many years of working with traders, with teaching traders, with helping traders, uh, no matter what market they're trading, if they're trading Bitcoin, uh, if they're trading Forex, if they're trading stocks or whatever it is, they uh, they like for not no two traders are the same. Is basically what I'm saying. No two no two traders are exactly alike. So one per one trader would love this this type of dashboard because they think this is a little easier to see and navigate well another trader will think this is a little bit better because all they need is this uh with this you still have to go to the charts and actually look at you know are these confirmed with this um say right now i want to go to the minute chart and i'm gonna see what's going on down there all the way down the minute so i i just pulled up one two three four five i just pulled up five trades 
Uh, what's this look like? Uh, 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 well, let's see. That actually looks like a nice reversal. Let's. Why don't we check? Why don't we check out the pound New Zealand? So we'll go down to the pound, pound New Zealand and see what it looks like. You know, we'll look at a pound New Zealand chart. And so I mean, that's that's kind of the difference. Uh, here's another nice looking trade. That looks like a nice trade. Well, they actually all look nice. Nice trades down there. And um, I did. I, so basically, I just analyzed five setups. Now that's not a good an analysis. I'm not going to be able to trade like right there then and now I'm still gonna have to obviously look at the chart you always want to make sure you, you look at the chart look at different time frames stuff like that but what I'm saying is I just analyzed five different charts in a matter of what 10 seconds and here's the lonely sell trade uh, looks like we just actually got a, a an alert on uh, euro Aussie um, so here's a sell and here's another sell. So there's actually two cells that just came up. Uh, this, looks, this looks like a nice trend breaker here. Um, so that actually looks like a really good minute. But, but remember, this is all the way down to the, the minute chart. So the uh, it's all the way down in the minute chart. So we don't want to um, we don't want to assume anything. You never want to assume anything. And wow, we're getting a ton of alerts here. Uh, they actually might have just kicked in. And um, a lot of, if you're going to be, here's my recommendation, um, now since I think of it, so we're getting all these alerts. And if you're going to be switching from time frame to time frame to time frame to time frame, uh, like this, see we're getting all these alerts. And um, this is actually a good teaching lesson here. You want to turn these alerts off. Just turn the alerts off. Uh, turn them all off of false. Um, especially if you're, if you're going from, <coughs> I'm sorry from time frame to time frame, turn all those off because, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes uh, that you just don't see here. And uh, it takes a little bit of time to catch up. It's not all, it's not all instantaneous like we'd like it to be. Um, I know people um, are tend to be a little bit uh, impatient with stuff. Um, but if you wanna look at different time frames real quick, uh, you're going to be able to just do that and turn those alerts off and that's all you got to do um so see right there that doesn't really look like the greatest trades um but you know what no signal is perfect <laughs> and um so that's that's it uh it was a quick 20 uh, about 22 minutes uh long video about the efc uh 2.0 uh dashboard and i kind of went through I kind of went through a lot, so if you have so if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, you can email us at info at trading strategy guides. If it's just, if it's just somewhere where you can comment, leave a comment, uh, do a post, do whatever you want to do, whatever you need to do to get a hold of us. Uh, we got team members everywhere. We, we're spread it out. We keep we keep uh, growing um, each and every month, and. Um, so whatever, if you have any kind of question with the EFC, I know this is our most popular indicator, so we've answered hundreds and hundreds of questions about the EFC indicator. We spend hours teaching people the strategy, and um, it's a really good strategy. If you know, um, if you what we what we want to make what we want to get through your heads is read this first, read this strategy first, um, see if it's for you, see if if you only trade trends, if you're at trend only i'd never trade reversals then don't use this indicator don't don't bother um don't bother investing in this indicator don't bother uh reading the strat if if you don't trade reversals if you said back whenever you first started trading that i will never trade reversals i don't think they're any good i don't think that they move uh, actually, well, let's see, 130 pips, but I don't think they work. Reversal trades don't work. Um, one to three risk reward ratios don't work. Then don't trade it. Don't don't use the indicator. That's a, that's as simple as that. But if you're if you're still looking for a strategy, if you're still looking for a uh, system that'll work for you, um, head on over to um, head on over to our website. Go to um, uh, find our strategy, find our RSI strategy, uh, e even search EFC, even search EFC indicator, see, uh, see what it's all about. Um, if you, this is, I guess it's a little disclaimer. If you see an EFC from some, somewhere else, somewhere that's not us, it's actually not the EFC. Um, it's not, it's not an updated version. It's not, you know, we've been finding out, you know, it's different stuff like that, but 
you need to get it from us because uh, we're gonna we're gonna invest as much time as as we can with you, uh, teaching you the strategy behind this, teaching you how this indicator works, giving you this update. This this dashboard. Um, where'd my dashboard go? This dashboard. Um, the very first the very first EFC indicator. This never existed. Actually, to tell you the truth. The, the original EFC didn't look anything like this. Um, it was it actually it actually was a lot of bugs. We actually worked uh, we worked a long time to get it to look like this. Um, so what I'm saying is we're we're gonna we update you um, we update you with with new features, new dashboards. This is a brand new dashboard. We actually give you two now. So here's the two. Here's the one and two. And um, you know, we, we like to help our traders out. We like to um, we like to do what we can uh, for our traders. Uh, so if this looks interesting to you, if you want to learn more about it, uh, if you have any other questions, go visit that go visit that uh, go visit the link, the website. Um, message us at info at tradingstrategyguys.com. Hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Um, Facebook is just uh, Trading Strategy Guides. I think uh, Twitter, it's just TSG Guides. Uh, I'd have to double check that, but I think it's just, uh, just slash TSG Guides. You can find us on Twitter. Um, you can always message us there. Uh, most Probably the best place to, to get a hold of us is info at tradingstrategyguides.com. And uh, we'll help you out with this dashboard if you have any questions or anything like that. We actually have a knowledge base that we could probably share with you uh, for other, that other traders. Um, the, you know, most of the time there's a lot of the same questions <clears throat> and we try to actually solve that uh, whenever you read about the EFC. Uh, so we try to implement that as we go, um, as we get new questions. Uh, but this this dashboard is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's a it's a very good update, probably one of our best updates. Uh, and there's still there still might be a little there still might be a few bugs here and there. <clears throat> And we'll address those as we get to them. Uh, we always get what we do. We actually have a lot of we have, we actually have a ton of surveys. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. Probably a lot of you don't. Is we actually have a survey. So once you actually invest in this in this in this um, plugin or this indicator, um, maybe a few days, we're gonna shoot you out an email that says, "Hey, you know, how are you liking it? What you what what have you found out? Is there anything that we can improve on?" Like, and there's a bunch of different questions uh, surrounding this this. Uh, dashboard, this indicator, the scanner, and uh, we get we get we get an, we get questions, and then we actually answer them, and we also get really good feedback. And this was that this actually was somebody who really wasn't understanding this what was going on here, and <clears throat> so what we ended up doing we actually went we actually went to our developer and we said, hey, what's you know is there anything you can do to make this maybe a tad bit easier? Um, Maybe we can get another version, something like that, something that could be a little more easier to navigate, to where they can see everything in one place. And this is actually what we we put our heads together. This is actually what we came up with. Uh, so it's a really nice end product, and uh, we think you guys are going to really like it. Um, so again, if you don't like this new version, uh, say you say you already got the EFC, and you said, well, um, I took a look at it. I really like the other scanner better. I, I'll stick with this one. Stick with that one. Um, What's really unique about this is uh, it'll it'll do any symbol. Uh, with this, you're kind of limited to these pairs. Uh, with this, you're actually going to be able to whatever's in the market watch. So whatever you're trading, if you're trading Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin's really big right now. We've done a little bit of testing with the EFC. Um, Bitcoin's whew, it's you it's a little crazy. Um, Depending on if you trade it or not, uh, I mean, it's just, you could test it out basically. So run the EFC, run the EFC through the Bitcoin, uh, and see what see how it does. And uh, it works pretty good on the higher time frames. Um, lower time frames probably not so much. But again, the strat that's based on the strategy, and we actually tell you that we actually share some information about that, kind of like a little disclaimer. Um, so uh, that's that's basically it. I think I'm out of time here. Um, any questions for us? You know where to. You know what to do. Info at tradingstrategyguides.com. 
will be there to help and support you along the way. Uh, if you're still with me, uh, I appreciate you sticking with me. And if you like, again, uh, any questions from regard to any kind of markets, anything like that, you can always hit a, hit our support team up. And, um, if you have any suggestions, any suggestion for new indicators, any suggestion for new, uh, maybe EAs, new products, new, uh, new trainings, new platform, anything like that, hit it, let us know. Uh, we're always taking suggestions. That's actually how a lot of our um, stuff gets done is we, we hear our traders and we give them what they want, but we, we make sure it's valuable. You know, you don't just want to give somebody something and it not be valuable. We actually make sure it's valuable for them, for their success, and then we develop it for them. Uh, that's why we have a lot of, um, we have a full-time trader. We have a lot of different stuff that will, will help traders uh, become successful. Not successful overnight, uh, but successful once they learn the system. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, my name is Ben. Uh, you can uh, personally message me. I'll probably, I could personally message you back. Uh, just say, hey, can I talk to Ben or something like that? And uh, I could probably get with you guys. And if you have any um, maybe advanced questions. Uh, just let me know. Let our support know. And um, that'll be it. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Thanks for sticking with me. And I'll see you next time.